Fiddling on your phone and tapping away on your tablet may not only be turning you into a zombie, it may be turning you into a hunchback, giving you text neck, which has become an epidemic, potentially destroying your spine, causing permanent damage to your spinal column and nervous system. Something I warned about in a YouTube video three and a half years ago when I discussed my personal chiropractic miracle. I'll touch on that in a second. But this story is going around the mainstream media. Text neck is becoming an epidemic. Text neck is a real thing. Basically, by staring at your smartphone or your tablet or having your computer monitor too low and hunching over, it is causing potentially permanent damage to your neck and spinal column. You see, the human head weighs about a dozen pounds, and when the neck bends forward, the weight on the cervical spine increases, as this illustration clearly demonstrates. As the uh, neck is bent at a 15-degree angle, your head is the equivalent of 27 pounds, more than double of what it actually is. At a 30-degree angle, it's 40 pounds. Uh, at a 60-degree angle, your head is the equivalent of 60 pounds. As this illustration demonstrates that is now going around the mainstream media. Again, something I warned about three and a half years ago when I was explaining my personal chiropractic miracle healing. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't say healing. Otherwise, the American medical mafia will sue me. I'm sorry. Uh, an incredible relief from my symptoms. Because I myself, after writing my numerous books and spending years hunched over like this at a laptop, uh, I developed not only a hunchback, but also severe sinus problems, which were cured, I'm sorry, alleviated, the symptoms were alleviated. Literally, basically what it was is I couldn't breathe through my nose, turning me into a mouth breather at night, which then caused some dental problems, which were cured, I'm sorry, alleviated instantaneously after one trip to a chiropractor which led me to investigate the incredible uh, miraculous powers of chiropractic adjustments which led me to discover that the american medical mafia i'm sorry association was actually convicted of fraud and conspiracy in the 1980s for trying to shut down chiropractic care because well they would rather have people uh, get surgery or stay on drugs to alleviate their symptoms. So basically what happened with me from being tall, from slouching at my computer all day, uh, writing my books and having short girlfriends, uh, it caused my neck to have uh, damage to the nervous system, which basically short-circuited my sinuses, causing me to not be able to breathe through my nose. And after I went to a chiropractor to tried to fix my hunchback from slouching in my laptop uh, all day for years. He gave me an upper cervical adjustment, which instantaneously caused my sinuses to open up. It was a miracle. I stood up from the table. I could breathe through my nose. I stepped out the front door. I could smell the flowers, the fresh air, the grass. It stunned me. I couldn't believe it. And for weeks, really months, Every morning I would wake up and I would breathe through my nose to see if it was still there. Uh, and it, well, it was, and I started researching chiropractic care and I found that the founder of it basically discovered how the spinal column, which has billions of nerves, uh, which can be pinched and uh, restricted through bad posture or through injury, or through sitting all day, can cause numerous health problems. And so I previously had went to the doctor got a CAT scan, uh, is a CAT scan or an MRI, I forget which one it was, but uh, which I had to battle the insurance company with to pay. They kept sending me a bill for like two years. Oh, you need to pay this, even though they said they were supposed to cover it. Uh, and they said, well, you have chronic sinus congestion. And they told me to take a, a prescription steroidal anti-inflammatory and shoot it up my nose every day and take uh, a Claritin anti-histamine uh, or whatever it was. And so I decided I didn't want to be doing that, so I just dealt with it. And then one trip to the chiropractor, immediately, immediately cured it. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, can't use that word, or the AMA will sue me. Uh, alleviated permanently my symptoms, allowing me to breathe freely. So 
I started researching chiropractic, the history of it, and I found out that the founder of it, D.D. Palmer, uh, was talking with a friend of his who was a janitor who uh, was deaf, in one ear at least, after picking up a bucket of water, and his spine popped. And so Daniel David Palmer had him lay down, face down on a table, and he felt that there was a, a spinal column that was out of alignment. So he literally pushed it back into alignment, and the man had his hearing restored because the spinal column, again, carries just billions of nerves, and it was being disrupted and pinched, and so uh, it caused his hearing loss. And that is the beginning of chiropractic care. But the AMA and, and mainstream medical doctors say that that was a hoax, that that's a fraud, et cetera, et cetera, even though the man and his family and all evidence reveals that that is exactly what happened. And you could check YouTube for chiropractic miracles. There's a guy that claims that his eyesight came back uh, and, and other incredible ailments. And I personally, you, you wouldn't know, understand what it's like to just not be able to breathe through your nose. I mean, I was wanted to go and get surgery to have either a sinuplasty or to have them uh, remove some of the excess sinus tissue because it was just debilitating uh, and, and, and horrible. And so this trip to the chiropractor for an unrelated reason just cured me up oh, sorry alleviated my symptoms uh instantaneously and caused me to start researching chiropractic care and from talking with my chiropractor i learned about other incredible healings he had a classmate of his in chiropractic college who went to school because his daughter was cured i'm sorry alleviated symptoms of you know you get the point by now of asthma after having a chiropractic adjustment because the girl had asthma because her spinal column had interference from, from whatever reason, from an injury or perhaps even from being born, from you know being pulled out uh, as, a, as a baby, had a, uh, an adjustment uh, out of alignment, spinal column out of alignment that was pinching nerves or causing pressure. And so this poor girl had asthma and for whatever reason or a chiropractor had suggested uh, getting an adjustment adjusted her, cured her uh, of her ailments. And so her father was so just astounded that his you know, daughter now didn't have these as frequent asthma attacks, and he started researching chiropractic care, and he was so inspired by it and so moved that he decided to become a chiropractor himself. And from talking with my chiropractor, I've just come across and heard just incredible stories of seemingly miraculous healing. But it, it makes perfect sense once you understand how the human body works. So, in short, many of you, no doubt, have text neck. Your monitor's too low. By the way, go and check out ergonomics. You need to have your monitor at eye level. Like, the center of your monitor needs to be at eye level. So, put some books underneath it or put a shelf underneath it or get off the laptop or get an external monitor and stop staring at your phone all day or else you're not only going to turn into an antisocial zombie, but you're going to turn into the hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, as these illustrations clearly show. So just some word to the wise. But unfortunately, a large portion of my audience doesn't want to know how to uh, have a better life. They just like masturbating to fear porn. They just want death and destruction. And so, you know, if I were to title this, you know, satanic sacrifice, murder, blood, sacrifice, Illuminati, they, they would flood to it and watch it. They want to learn that, but they don't want to learn about how they can better themselves. And they've unfortunately become so paranoid and so pessimistic that uh, uh, they've just are sinking into this downward spiral. So just got to be cautious that that isn't uh, happening to you. You know, I can try to lead a horse to water, but as you may be aware, many of those horses then just turn around and try to kick you in the face. <laughs> They're just so paranoid and pathetic. But anyway, don't get text neck, or if you have it already, uh, learn how uh, various stretching, or God forbid, yoga. Oh, you're endorsing satanic yoga. You're a devil worshiping Illuminati scum. I knew it. <laughs> Anyway, just a heads up because I know without a doubt that this is happening or has happened to many of you. And before it's too late to reverse the debilitating damage to your spine and nervous system, uh, you should probably take the corrective measures before it's too late. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out the previous videos and the playlists. And stay tuned. There are more videos coming soon.